Well, hello. In this quick video, we're going to turn an ordinary clay pot into a really pretty clay pot using several different products. We're going to start off with texture medium. We're going to put a little bit on our brush and just kind of dab here and there and everywhere. And texture medium is a product that I've also used on furniture with um, rollers, pattern rollers, to give my furniture pieces some texture and some um, just makes things a little bit different and it goes beyond the paint. So okay so the brush was taking a little bit too long so I started to use this spackling knife thingy and I've never I'm not sure if I've ever used um, texture medium on a flower pot before so this is all new and we're doing this together and you know, I figured this would be an easier way to use it, but I got to tell you that at some point I got tired of doing it with this way and I started to use my hands instead. It just seemed a lot easier to spread the texture medium and a lot faster. Um, and this was uh, not a flat surface, so this seemed the easiest way to do this. want to make sure that you get it all over the flower pot all around the whole flower pot so then I thought I'd try and see if I could get this pattern on the flower pot and I kind of sort of did I don't know if you can see it here from the video camera up close you can see there is a pattern but we're also going to paint this and we're going to add other things to it so I'm not too worried. I really wanted to make it look like a old flower pot that was in some beautiful garden and um, so that was kind of the look I was going for. I was look, wasn't looking for anything perfect or I didn't want the patterns to be perfect um, and it, this is very different than working on a piece of furniture that is for the most part flat. But you can see that it's not flat here anymore and it's given it some pattern. So I was okay with it. So I love the texture medium dry overnight. Usually when you use texture medium on furniture, you sand it down a little bit because it does create peaks and they're a little bit scratchy. Um, I didn't do that to this fall pot. I didn't sand it down I because I did not add a lot of texture medium and I wanted it to have all that rough texture. You can see, look how pretty this is. So the next part really is just about playing with the paint. I used DIY paint and I started with the blue iris and I added some white and then I added a bunch of other colors. So, so far we've used texture medium, a pad and roller from artistic painting studio and now I'm just going to paint and add different colors and just blend until I get a look that I think I'm happy with. To add the Would You Bend Angels, all you need to do is heat it up until it is bendable with the heating gun and then simply attach it with wood glue. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some paper clay. We're going to use the IOD paper clay and the molds. This is trimmings. And this is really simple to use. Just you need to remember that once you open the packaging of the paper clay, you want to keep it in an airtight container because the air is what will actually harden it. I use um, 
a Tupperware container. I feel that this works best as they are um, supposed to keep everything airtight. So the next thing you want to do is just want to roll it out a little bit in your hands just to heat it up a little bit and then you're going to start from the middle out of the mold that you picked and you're just going to kind of um, spread it. I usually use a plastic uh, version of what I'm using now. This is wood and um, or you can use a butter knife just to kind of spread it out and make it come out nice and even and then you are just going to simply pop it out. Just like the wood you bend, you're going to use wood glue to adhere the paper clay. So once I get this on here, I'm going to let it dry just a little bit and then I'm going to paint the whole thing. So the rest of this video or the rest of this project simply, it just, it's just playing and having fun with colors. I wanted the pot to look vibrant but kind of old and that's why I put the texture medium in so um, I wasn't worried about this looking perfect or anything like that. And that's it. It's just playing with colors from here on out and um, just remember to steal your flower pot because it would be will be mostly outside I'm guessing so you want to use um, we have clear top or big top or whatever kind of sealant you use just make sure that you do seal it over time the paint will cure and it will be okay but just as an extra added measure because this is going outside as I said you'll want to seal it and that's the end so we'll see you in the next video I got a couple of ideas and I think you're gonna like them See you then.